Hey all, so today's task. We have two indoor kitties that want to be outdoors um, in Cassie and Sonia's trailer. Um, and she's already got one kitty that escaped and has not come back home yet in this forest. So, uh, my sister used to breed um, chickens and quail and chickens and quail and peafowl. And she has a ton of old cages that are, um, this is cage wire that was set up and um, she has tons and tons of old cage wire and so we originally were going to use two by twos and um, chicken wire to build a catio for her cats so that they could be outdoors and we we're going to put it around one of the windows so they could come in and out as they wanted to but they could be outdoors and still be safe because they're city cats and so decided against the chicken wire just because I think cats will climb it and it might break or whatever I didn't want to take a chance with that and then um, we were going to use hardware cloth but we didn't have enough of that in the shop so I went to Home Depot um, over the weekend thinking I was going to buy some hardware cloth and calculated it out and it would cost like $250 in hardware cloth to make this 4x8 um, catio that's going to be about 8 feet tall and because um, I want them to have plenty of room out there and Mighty Mo doesn't seem to mind the cage <laughs> anyhow so we found um, like I said my sister has tons and tons of old um, cage and we're going to take this cage she has rolls of cage wire too but we don't want to use the stuff that hasn't been used yet so I'm going to this is all one cage that's still um, J clipped all together on all four sides and she just undid one side and folded it all up and as you can see it's a pretty massive cage it's probably I'm gonna say 10 feet long by 4 feet anyhow so my task for today is I'm gonna cut um, the J clips I'm gonna cut the wire away from the J clips instead of taking out all these J clips so we'll lose one inch off of each piece and um, then I am going to build a frame out of the two by twos and some two by fours that I have for the for the ground area and get a four foot by eight foot by eight foot tall catio build so if I can if it's not raining while I'm doing this I will try to um, I'm just I'm not going by any plans I'm just going by plans that are in my head so I'll try to video it so um, that you can see how I do it and we'll see if it turns out stay tuned okay for segment number two so it took us most of the day to use wire cutters to cut the cage apart and this is what we're left with some end pieces that had doors on them are over there so um, we're not going to use those. And then we had two pieces left right here that we can use uh, for the catio. And then we have this piece. And instead of, I don't know if you guys can even see this, but instead of clippering all this, because <laughs> um, this, like I said, used to be an old cage that was a mega cage and um, instead of taking apart those joints what we're going to do is this part right here which is about three and a half feet is going to become the side and then these two sections right here next to us are going to be um, the back wall so instead of four by eight footprint it's now going to be three and a half by about five and a half feet um, just trying to save ourselves some work and um because it took all three of us almost all day to cut each one of these little segments with a wire cutter to untangle it all so um so it's going to be a smaller cage but it's not going to take quite as long 
and we'll see what else I get done on this today. I'm going to start doing the framing on it. Um, but Cassie and Sonia have to leave for the day, and I can't um, lift the walls by myself. So what I'm going to do is start attaching uh, the two-by-twos to the, to the outside pieces. And then um, tomorrow I'll be gone all day, but then next day, Wednesday, I will... Um, have Sonia and Cassie help me carry them over there and stand them up and screw them together. So, so this project's going to take a little bit longer than we originally thought. Hey folks, so I am um, just giving you an update on what I got so far. This is actually laying on its back side now. So this will be the width or the, the length of it, which is 71 inches. It will be just shy of four feet uh, wide. And when I stand it on end, it will be eight foot tall. And now um, what I have to do is frame around this piece here, because this is gonna become the um, roof of the structure and my Helpers left to go um, shopping, so I don't have anyone here helping me do this and try and, um, you know, hold up panels while I'm screwing stuff in. So it makes it a little more difficult, but um, I'm going to try and get a frame around that tonight and then get that frame attached to um, this end of it. That way I can stand it on end and all I have to do is the back wall. And then um, the framework for the, the other end of it over on this side will actually be a door. And so um, I will probably frame that up either tomorrow when I get home from my errands or um, sometime soon when I have helpers here. Apparently it's been inspected by Mighty Mo though, so it's all approved. All right, I'm gonna get these guys inside because we've had coyotes lately and it's dusk. I just wanted to give you an update on how far I've gotten so far. I'm going to keep working on it.